Hi everyone, in this video you are going to learn about common gate amplifier. So this is the third configuration in the mass transistor configurations like a common source amplifier, common drain amplifier and this is common gate amplifier. So common gate common gate amplifier so common gate configuration in this configuration the gate terminal is common between input and output this is the gate terminal source and drain so this terminal is common between input and output how to draw the amplifier diagram okay see I am going to draw the amplifier, common gate amplifier. This is R1, R2, gate is common and input is applied at source terminal, input is applied at the source terminal and output is taken from the drain terminal this is the out plus VDD we are taking some biasing potential like VGG and it is the round so R2 R1 and it is the transistor with the drain terminal, source terminal and gate terminal. See, input is applied at the source terminal, output is taken from the drain terminal and gate is grounded. Okay, by default it is grounded. If you want to give any biasing supply that you can give at the input of the gate by like a VGG I have taken. Okay, of course, whether you can take or not, no problem because when you are going for the small signal model, this voltage VGG becomes zero okay so we know small signal model small signal model so in small signal ac analysis what we will do so first point all the capacitors all the capacitors all the capacitors means including coupling capacitors and bypass capacitors should be short circuited all the capacitors should be short circuited and all the voltage sources DC voltage sources all the DC voltage sources should be grounded okay so with these assumptions I am just redrawing the circuit R1 R2 as VGG is a DC source, make it to ground. And this should be ground. RD, R1, R2. Again, here we have a AC voltage source, V in. This is the ground. Okay. So, this is the modified version of the previous diagram after those two assumptions now the small signal equivalent model for this diagram is first we need to draw the transistor equivalent model gate plus minus vgs okay and along with this we are having a dependent current source rhombus shape gm vgs you should not draw a circle here it is a dependent current source two different types of sources are there dependent current source independent current source dependent current sources are shown with this rhombus symbol and independent current sources are identified by circular symbol circle okay now this is gate drain terminal and this one is the source terminal here we have input supply 
here we have input supply Vn. Okay. And this drain terminal we are having Rd from drain to ground. Rd is existed from drain to ground across which we are taking the output minus plus. Okay. What else we have? From gate to ground we have R1, from gate to ground we have R2 and similarly from gate to ground direct ground is there. That means gate terminal is grounded directly. So that R2 and R2 are go away. So that's why gate is simply at ground potential at zero. Zero potential nothing but grounded. Okay. So with all these changes let us calculate the three parameters voltage gain, input impedance and output impedance. So let us start with voltage gain. Voltage gain AV. Voltage gain AV. So how to calculate AV? First if you are able to draw, the, if you are able to write the output voltage equation then we can write AV. So output voltage, output voltage V out is equal to, see this current GMVGS is flowing in the backward direction and again going in this direction. So that's why V out is equal to minus GMVGS into RD. Minus GMVGS into RD. What is VGS in terms of V in? Okay, see. See this clearly. I'm taking a different color to indicate. VGS is the voltage existed between gate and source with the positive at gate negative at source and v in is the voltage that is existed between source and source and ground positive with source negative with ground vgs is positive with ground because gate is at the ground positive with ground and negative with source See exactly these two are in opposite polarities. We can take the measure of something like VGS here VGS minus and plus. Okay, so these two are equal. These two are equal with opposite polarities. So we can write it as we can write it as from circuit V in is equal to minus VGS that implies VGS equal to minus V in substitute this in V out therefore V out is equal to GM V in R EMV in RD minus minus plus. Therefore, voltage gain AV is equal to V out by V in is equal to GM RD. GM into RD. This value GM RD is equal to the voltage gain of common source amplifier. Voltage gain of common source amplifier without source resistor. RS that is also having the same value if you have any doubt you can go and check but with negative polarity both are opposite polarities each other okay and uh, coming to the input impedance and output impedance input impedance input impedance ZI what is the value of input impedance what is the value of input impedance C input impedance has to measure here input impedance output impedance has to be measured here if you see the input impedance which is which is measured from gate to ground zi has to be calculated from gate to ground gate to ground therefore the thing is there. So, Zi is equal to 0 ohms. Zi is equal to 0 ohms. But we have learned that 
we have learned mass transistor has high input impedance mass transistor has high input impedance but in this configuration common gate this zi is 0 ohms 0 ohms so remember except common gate configuration in remaining all configurations it is having highest input impedance okay so this is used the application of this application why it is having low input impedance and it is having some application uh, it is used in radar receivers or any microwave receivers yes the uh, what is that uh, characteristic impedance of transmission line transmission line matches with input of input impedance of input impedance of CG amplifier okay in receivers what we are doing we are receiving the signal from long distance immediately after receiving we need to amplify it okay so that amplifier we have to use in uh, that such must be the characteristic impedance must be matched with the input impedance of this common gate amplifier so that these two are low uh, that is low this is also low as yes, these two are having perfect matching this particular uh, amplifier is being used there and coming to the output impedance output impedance which is z0 see from the circuit what we can say z0 is nothing but simply rd which is measured from drain to ground rd so z0 is equal to rd so this is the way how to calculate the voltage gain input impedance and output impedance for the common gate amplifier